What do you think are the lessons we learned from the Greek crisis? What are the implications of the, yes. the Greek crisis? Uh, first of all, I think uh, the, the first lesson is that uh, in European affairs, uh, trust is, uh, is a key word. Uh, the Greek government uh, negotiated uh, in, a very, uh, in a way that lost trust for the country. And uh, this uh, has caused uh, severe consequences on the economic system, the financial system. Uh, the second lesson is that uh, usually in Europe blackmail doesn't work. Well, Europe finds ways to get around blackmail, especially if uh, you don't have enough leverage to, for your blackmail to succeed. Uh, and the, thirst, the third uh, lesson is that although the euro is considered uh, irreversible, uh, we've seen that in extreme cases uh, the currency, the common currency, can become uh, reversible. Uh, so these are very important uh, lessons also for lawmakers and decision makers for the next years and for the future of the Eurozone to see what, uh, what uh, changes and what amendments can be made to the treaties to make them more uh, sustainable for crisis situations because we have a good uh, foundations and good treaties for when everything uh, goes as planned, but uh, we don't have uh, contingency plans in the treaties for when uh, something goes wrong and there is an extreme situation with a country that is uh, blocking or it's uh, posing the, the, the union into a danger. Although we did see some things uh, actually even recently with the, with the refugee crisis, right? Yes, uh, but uh, you see the, the position of uh, four countries in the Central Europe is posing a, a major problem to the whole decision-making process. And uh, also regards the, the currency, uh, the needs, in my opinion, to be a specific, uh, specific rules on how a country, if it defaults and under which terms it will default and what will be the consequences, what Europe should do, and uh, also, if it wants to leave the euro, what will be the steps for a country to leave the euro? It uh, can't be decided overnight in a dramatic uh, EU summit. All these things have to be there, so everybody knows, so that the citizens know, the politicians know, and everything is on the table. But do you think that it's not a taboo, that it stopped being a taboo, so that we can actually sit down uh, with sunlight and write down a tool map? Well, uh, as, long as, the, uh, as long as there are no uh, rules and uh, everything is, is kept in the dark, uh, there will be uh, people that will think that, why not, let's try it. Uh, we've, seen, we've heard of two secret plans, one from uh, Wolfgang Schäuble of a timeout plan, which we haven't seen, and also from a secret plan from Mr. Junger, which again we haven't seen. So uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm very pro-euro, but I need to see what the, the other options are. And I think also citizens need to know what the other option, options are. Because if you uh, have a secrecy around this issue, you'll have all kinds of strange parties and politicians uh, selling around uh, a dream of uh, paradise uh, that will be uh, exit from the euro without knowing what the consequences are.